metal 3D printing like you've probably never seen it before. I'm Stephanie Hendrickson with Additive Manufacturing Media. I'm here in Torrance, California at 3DO's facility, standing in front of one of their Saffron 3D printers. This is a machine that uses a process that's similar to binder jetting, but it's one that 3DO developed all internally and they call it intelligent layering. So inside of this machine, the uh, printer is spreading a thin layer of uh, metal powder. They use MIM powders, which are a little bit smaller, a little bit finer than you might find in typical binder jetting. The machine is jetting binder over the entire layer at once. So all of the powder is getting coated with a very, very thin layer of the binding agent. And then there's a head that comes in with eight different cutting tools. The tools can be run simultaneously or individually. And those tools are cutting the geometry of the parts that are being made. They're also doing a little bit of extra machining work. They are cutting features that are going to allow for the parts to be broken out of the powder cake later. So once all of the layers have been built up, the entire build comes out as one solid cake. Uh, the parts get broken out of that excess powder, they get depowdered, and then they go through a sintering step to achieve their final part properties. 3DO is finding that it often makes more sense to look at the complete sub-assembly that a part is going into and work to redesign and change maybe um, multiple parts at once rather than just 3D printing individual pieces. They are also getting into a lot of assembly themselves where they might be making uh, several parts for a single customer and then also putting them together here in-house. They're looking for ways to add additional value to the parts that they're producing here. This process also has some advantages versus other types of metal binder jetting type processes. Uh, for one, that finer powder leads to uh, finer surface finishes, which means there might be less post-processing later. You might have uh, fewer process steps overall. And 3DO is working towards a more automated manufacturing process. They want to go into serial production. They want to be making lots of parts. And so they're looking at things like how to teach robots more easily to depowder these parts, to process these parts, to pick and place them and prepare them for the sintering furnace. These machines, meanwhile, are still under development. That's one of the advantages of developing and operating your own 3D printing technology. You can continue to iterate, continue to make them better. But the vision is that someday soon, customers will be able to take these machines in-house and do intelligent layering um, in their own facilities as well.